It's where the best and brightest come to chat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to On the Mic with Mike. It is the leading daily social business enterprise in RVA. I'm your host, Mike King, and I appreciate you being here with me. The views expressed here of mine have no connection to support of or agreement with any other host information or ads on the station. I don't work for the station. I'm just appreciative to bring my program to you here on a daily basis. Join me as this cutting edge show uplifts the community and showcases RVA in a different way. The sounds you're listening to are emanating from the Mike King Biz Studio, which is the global epicenter of social enterprise business. Joining us is Today, as always, is the man who keeps things on track. It is a super producer, Al Green, who's on the wheels of steel. And we can be reached by calling 804-778-8888. On the mic with Mike, we highlight partnerships, people, social enterprise, business organizations, and issues of the day. The issue of the day, it is Veterans Day 2020. It is, it's a rainy day out here in Central VA. It is SBA Wednesday. A uh, quick note, uh, this is on a personal note here. Uh, you know, for all the veterans that are out there, thank you for your service. Thank you. We all GIs have stories to tell, and that is one of the <laughs> classic ones. You know, it's always, hey, let me tell you this, or let me tell you that, or I remember all those things. i just like to thank Uncle Sam for being a matchmaker to me also. He hooked me up with my wife. In 81 Fort Riley, Kansas. Shout out to the folks in Junction City, Kansas, uh, and all the folks who are out there. By the way, also, happy birthday yesterday to the Marine Corps. Yes. To all the all the jarheads out there. You guys are a special breed, <laughs> and you deserve it, day. So, you know, shout out to all the military folks, and also families, too. You know, Veterans Day, it is part, it is a family deal, so we just like to say thank you and kudos to you guys as well. So, you can reach us by calling 804-778-8888. We'd like to thank our show sponsor, Tom Childry, the credit card guy. If you have credit card merchant services, Tom Childry is the man who can help you with that. Tom can be reached by calling 804-503-8472. So, along the way, we do have to pay bills. Uh, so, please take a listen to our advertisers and sponsors and support them. They have some great and outstanding products and services. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is SBA Wednesday. SBA Wednesday, we will we have Carl Knobloch in the house, a host of, we have some veteran business owners calling. We're going to talk to them shortly. We also have Jay Carpenter of Hanley Watches is going to come in. And then we had a real playbook with Nicole Reed talking all things real estate. So it is a big day, SBA Wednesday here on Veterans Day 2020. Carl, welcome to the program, sir. Thank you so much, Mike. Great to be here. All righty, Carl. It's a big day here. Really quickly, you don't always ask what's happening with SBA. Yeah, th today I want to focus on uh, the veterans. There we and, go. And uh, especially, to, uh, we talked about briefly last week, the spouses. Uh, there's the opportunities for them to pursue to use our veteran business outreach centers. And then also, uh, People forget about the highly successful program we have, Boots to Business, where we've trained over 10,000 people. Boots uh, to Business? Boots to Business. That we've Never had heard a, of that one. Yeah, it's a transition program for uh, as, uh, uh, as they step out from the military and go into civilian life, they can take this program, two-day training program. The Veteran Business Outreach Center does a great job of presenting it. And where, where is that located here? It's located uh, at uh, f our closest one, Fort Lee. And uh, actually a veteran, if they can get on military installation or a spouse, they can actually go take the course. And uh, it's the close to Fort Lee. We have them all over in Norfolk, uh, the different military installations down there, Quantico. Uh, we have them up in D.C. So they're all around. And it's a two-day course? Two-day course. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that is something. All right, Carl, so we have some special guests to uh, talk to today, don't we? Yes, sir. Sure do. All right. We're going to start off with Mr. Al Ragus. Uh, sir, you're on, on the mic with Mike with Carl. It is SBA Wednesday. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Pretty good. Happy Veterans mm -hmm. Day 2020 to you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. 
you oh. anyway great uh, to have you on thank you so much for taking the time to do this all righty sir can you tell us what your business is and uh what sir which branch of the service were you in uh, well, the businesses that we have are restaurants, local neighborhood restaurants, um, which is Torch Bistro, Scotty Quicks on Granby Street, and then we have Pixels, Pints, and Bites. Um, all different uh, entities, but great food, good times. Uh, a branch of the service I was in was in the Navy. I see. Okay. Congratulations on that. So which one did you start first, and how has SBA played a part in, in the success of your of your businesses? Well, the one that we um, started first, my business partner Chris Johnson and I, was uh, Scotty Quicks. Um, you know, we were able to uh, go to the SBA and get a lot of pertinent information from them to uh, show us the processes that we needed to to um, do to obtain uh, funding, um, you know, to get the doors open. Um, so, you know, it's been very uh, helpful. Um, there's a gentleman, Joey Pocan, who, you know, is a wealth of knowledge that I've been able to uh, talk with. Um, so, I mean, it's just been great to have that uh, open line of communication. What's the biggest challenge going from being in the military to being a business owner, an entrepreneur? Well, the biggest challenge is employees, getting employees to buy into the system to work. You know, uh, most people come in and it's a job, but, you know, the one thing that uh, Chris and I have always um, done with all of our restaurants is, you know, giving uh, employees the option to one day either become partners with us or even assist them in opening their own business. But, you know, they have to buy into the to the whole um, restaurant industry, you know, and understanding, you know, you have a job, but you've got to go beyond that job where, you know, in the military, you know, most people, you know, they're going to come to work every day, do their job. You know, when in the civilian world, it's a little bit different. It's a wee bit different. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter which branch. It, it's it's a different world when you're a civilian. Yeah, twenty four hour clock. Yeah. That's it. so. Can you? So did when you started? Did you borrow funds from and uh, from SBA with the help of SBA? And what was the hardest part about that? Well, uh, we were fortunate uh, where we did not have to um, do that. Um, but, you know, they showed us uh, other avenues that we could go to obtain capital uh, to, to open our business where we didn't have to go through the SBA loan. Uh, so, like I said, uh, Joey uh, really helped us out um, to streamline where we needed to be to obtain um, a loan through uh, Navy Federal Credit Union. Let me ask you, how much of your business is military? Oh, man, easily 70% of our customers are military. Okay. Wick, and what has the economy, COVID, and all of that done? Well, uh, it's really put a strain on us uh, because, you know, with the limited capacity in the service industry, you know, that's just not good because, you know, we thrive on, you know, the customers and them coming in and being able to enjoy um, a good meal, some entertainment and stuff like that. But, you know, when you go to, say, 250 capacity, uh, and now you're down to 50, that's a lot of revenue that you we, better believe it. We're, we're losing, you know. So, um, and I'll tell you what, with the SBA, the uh, COVID um, relief fund has really helped us out. I mean, it's really given us, you know, um, a chance to keep our doors open because we were really worried about that. And how long have you guys been in business with Scotty Quicks? Uh, with Scotty Quicks, we've been in business uh, 10 years. How, let me ask you, how long was it before you realized, hey, we might make it with Scotty Quicks? Uh, three years into it, you know, we realized that we had a good um, spot, great uh, customer base. Uh, so, you know, 
I'll tell you what, the one thing that really, really um, helped us out was our employees. We have great employees who really uh, take care of the place, you know, and they promote it. So that really helped us um, out. All righty. So uh, we have Mr. Al Ragus on uh, Navy Sir. Let me ask you this right here. So we're going out the door. I'm, you know, I'm an Army guy. What's the coolest place you've ever been with the Navy? Uh, Belize. Really? Belize. Cool. The Navy goes cool places. <laughs> it takes you guys a long time to get there. <laughs> See yeah. the army, we go to we go to places. We get there in a hurry, but we go to some we go to some horrible places. We do not go very good places, but we get there in a hurry. The navy they take a for a lifetime to get there. But uh, you know, congratulations on that, sir. Uh, let folks know down in your area how they can find your restaurants. Sure, we're uh, Scotty Quicks is located on 436 Granby Street in uh, downtown Norfolk. Torch Bistro is located at 601. Or Pack Street in the Chelsea area of Ghent, and then Pixels, Pints, and Bites is 2117 Colonial Avenue in Norfolk. All righty. I'd like to thank you for your service. Thank you for coming on the program. Uh, this is On the Mic with Mike. We are here with Al Ragus, sir. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Love your program. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Take care. All right, Bye-bye. ladies and gentlemen, it is Veterans Day 2020. Carl Knobloch, SBA Wednesday here. We are talking... Uh, veteran business owners and the impact that SBA has to help your business and the service that these folks and their families have given to this country. Uh, and that's why we ask, like, mm-hmm. uh, what's the cool place? You don't want to go on the other side mm-hmm. and say, what was the worst place? <laughs> that's right. It's kind of <laughs> like, you know, it was the bad place when you were there. And then when you leave and go to the next place, it becomes good. You you yeah. see it from a romantic view. <laughs> totally That's totally different. <laughs> you totally see it different. And you remember all the people who were there. The time is one nineteen. Uh, the program is on the mic with Mike WJFN Radio 100.5, 92.7, a.m. Uh, Jay, Jay Carpenter's up next with uh, Hanley Watches, and then we are going to have Nicole Reed with the Real Playbook after that. But we have to go away for some commercials. Uh, we'll be back shortly. Thanks now. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Hi, Chef Michelle here of Mama Michelle Cafe, home of the Soul Rolls, located at 10811 Hall Street Road. Give us a call at 804-912-1644 or order online at mamashelles.com. Ask about our off-site catering options as well as our online ordering through Grubhub, Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Follow us on all social media at Mama Michelle Cafe. That's Mama Michelle's Soul South of the James. Mention Mike on the mic and get a free dessert on us. Special rules apply. Chris Chip here with Focus Floors, and we are offering a free upgrade in any Bono water-based poly for any job that gets put on our schedule. Uh, you can reach us at FocusHardwoodFlooring.com or just check out us out on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook, uh, Focus Floors 804, Instagram 804. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Pavi Leitner, the CEO and founder of Finlit and your family certified financial educator dedicated to the financial success of you and your family. Are you not sure where to start with your finances or are you looking to sign your middle schooler up for our virtual camp? Book us at www.finlitva.com. That is www.fin L-I-T-V-A.com. Finlit is creating a money-conscious community. 
Are you tired of dating online? Bloom Matchmaking offers a safe and effective alternative. Every match is vetted and background checked. Bloom Matchmaking offers a personalized experience just for you. Check us out at bloommatchmaking.com or give us a call at 804-205-5063. Let Bloom take the stress out of dating. Mention On The Mic With Mike and receive 20% off. That number again is 804-205-5063. Bloom Matchmaking, where love grows. Mike King isn't a businessman. He's a businessman with his own talk show. On The Mic With Mike. The best business radio program in the game. (laughs) Welcome back to On the Mic with Mike. You heard the man. This is the best radio program covering business life and everything in between WTFN Radio 100.5, 92.7, 8.20 a.m. It is a place where the game changers come to talk. But today, it is SBA Wednesday, Veterans Day 2020. Carl Knobloch here with us. We are talking to veteran business owners. Next up on the microphone, we have Mr. Carlos Cruz. Sir, welcome to the program. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Uh, Pleasure to be here, and thank you for having me. I'm pretty good. So, Carl, you can tell the man's a Marine. Yeah, yeah. So he's boomed out there. (laughs) Yes. Were you a DI? Were you a DI? (laughs) There's no question. (laughs) Didn't have to ask what branch you were in. You made it perfectly clear. Welcome to the program, and, and, you know, congratulations, and thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so tell us about your business, where you guys are located, and so you guys are working with SBA. Tell us the benefits of, of all that. All right, well, that sounds great. And uh, and like I said, uh, well, I appreciate you guys for having me here. I definitely, truly appreciate that. And just a little bit about my businesses. I have two businesses, and I'm currently, uh, uh, you know, working between and trying to, you know, stabilize and get it, you know, working just like everybody wants. You know, they, everybody wants to print money, right? Um, so the two businesses I have, the first one is uh, Liquid Customs. I'm the owner and CEO of Liquid Customs, and we help business owners and hobbyists to add cool custom graphics to pretty much any surface, metal, wood, plastic, glass, ceramic. And we do this by providing hydro dipping distribution and professional services. So, you know, that's, that's, the, that's one of my big, big businesses that, you know, that I'm definitely in love with and that I do a lot with in, in every day. And then secondly, I'm the owner of uh, cyberblueprints.com, and we help minorities to start up their business by providing group business coaching and training. Where did you get, was, were those uh, things that you learned in the military to get started? Uh, and tell us about your beginnings with SB, how they helped your business as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, uh, so a lot of the, the the two ideas that you know they first they first came to me. Uh, so, Cyber Blueprints. Uh, my background in the United States Marine Corps. I was a 60, 6494, You know, pretty much. And anybody that knows is I'm an information technology specialist. So wait, 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 wait a I second. Wait a second. So you were the one person in the Corps who wasn't a rifleman. <laughs> Hey, you. We're all basic riflemen. I, I was getting. I was. I was wondering that because you guys make that perfectly clear. It's not like That's the right. army or anyone else. Everyone Absolutely. in the Marine Corps are riflemen. That's right. That's right. Everybody. Everybody's a trained rifleman. So after they taught me how to become a rifleman, taught me how to kill, they gave me my second job. It was like here. <laughs> You got to do computers because, you know, at the time I had a big electronic background coming into the Marine Corps. I wanted to be an electronic engineer. Um, so I joined the Marine Corps and they saw that. So they obviously employed me in, in, in cyber. And that's and that's where I got my cyber blueprints from, because uh, I was I used to be in the government. Um, and that's where I found as SBA. Uh, I did that for a while. I used to be a contractor as well in D.C., uh, and then I, I, and I did all that for cybersecurity. And then I found kind of my love working with people and helping them solve problems by starting their own business. And that's where I, I fell into the, the business coaching and the training for, uh, for, for people. What was the biggest part and help that SBA offered to you? Uh, they, well, they provided tons of support and resources that I had no idea where to get before. <laughs> and and to me, that's how I use SBA. It's a reference guide. It's a reference resource for me and pretty much where I push everybody towards so that they can get uh, information on, uh, you know, corporations, uh, funding, and pretty much anything they want for their business. 
Alrighty, and at what point when you started the business that you realized that this thing may work? <laughs> well, that's that's a great question uh, <laughs> because I think you know going back. So going, I, you know, I was in the government. Um, I was a government contractor for a while, and then I joined the government. And uh, I it, and working in the government, working with a lot of the cybersecurity professionals at the time, um, I developed a good niche of actually helping them build businesses. Because a lot of people that you meet, you know, they they have a lot of skill sets and they bring a lot of value to the table. And a lot of times they really don't know what to do with that. So me, as as in in my position at the time, I was taking these guys and women, you know, men and women, and pretty much mentoring them, taking them on my wing, you know, whatever you want to call it, and pretty much just providing the, the, the information that I had by experience at the time because um, when I started helping them, I already built like, you know, uh, 15 businesses uh, before that. So I had a good, you know, pretty good experience in, in building a textbook business. Uh, so I used that information at the time to kind of help them accelerate their business and help them see their, their dreams because a lot of, a lot of those uh, professionals I was dealing, they wanted to be business owners. They just didn't know how. So when businesses are out there trying to find funding, what, what help do you give them as far as ideas and ways to go out to help fund their business? Oh, wow. So that's the million dollar question, right? See, uh, that's why you, every... that's why we're here. <laughs> you know, this is, that's what we do here. We ask the tough questions, but you're a Marine. You're used to the tough questions and the tough stuff. <laughs> Hey, I never ran away from a fight. I and bet I you did. It's not, it's not in you guys' DNA. <laughs> that's right. That's right. No, but, you know, uh, one of the biggest challenges um, that people face is is trying to, you know, they think they need a lot of money to start their business, right? They're like, hey, we need this huge cash pot to get our business going. But in reality, you know, what I tell them is you don't. You really don't need a, a big pot of money to get started. And, you know, like I mentioned, I started 15 businesses at the time and, and they were mostly backed by a certain type of VC funding or government or what I like to call GVC, right? Government VC funding, which, you know, the government has a lot of money, right? And the government, um, you know, I, you know, being in the government, I know that, that we build programs and those programs turn into directorates and things of that nature. And pretty much at the end, they're, they're small businesses. Um, so don't being backed by a lot of like venture capital or taking a lot of money. A lot of people also take the retirement funds and they dump it into a business because they're like, yeah, we got to do this. I need money. But that's not the way. You know, what I, what I like to tell them is like, hey, you don't need a huge cash pot of money to fund that business. Because what I noticed through experience was that using a lot of money helps cover up a lot of your mistakes. Wow. And, 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 in, and in business, you know, you want to sit at those mistakes. You want to solve those problems. And what VC funding does to a lot of people is they take that money. They're like, oh, man, I just made, you know, I was dealing with people. They were, they were making a million dollar mistakes. And I'm like, Jesus, guys, come on, you know. Um, but they had the funding to do it. Right. So to them, it was like, all right, let's just pivot and let's just keep moving. And I'm like, no, there has to be a better way. Um, so now, you know, I went on my journey and, you know, I was in D.C. for a while. And then I just came down to Virginia Beach just to gain some clarity, you know, down in Chesapeake just to gain some clarity and, you know, really go on my own, my own. Um, and that's on my current journey that I'm currently in with my two businesses. That's that's what I'm currently doing. I wanted to start these businesses with zero funding zero funding, which is very hard to do because you need money to start a business, right? And that's what everybody thinks. But in the end of the day, um, what, what is the saving grace is that hustle, right? It makes you, not having money makes you focus on your business. And what I found that I wasn't making as many mistakes anymore, right? I was able to sit down, focus on the problems, and actually make better business decisions because I didn't have all the money that was that I used to have when I was VC, you know, VC backed by a lot of a, a lot of different business owners, right? So that actually made me produce a better business because I wasn't trying to blow out this massive giant corporation like we're all taught to, right? We're all okay. taught to build 
the corporate build everything front low front low front load and what i focus on now is just solving one problem and adding the most value to fix that problem let me ask you let me ask you this so for people who've never been in the military what makes being a gi and entrepreneur kind of similar and what helps gis be good entrepreneurs Oh, we're, we're resourceful. <laughs> That's the biggest, that is the biggest thing. And, you know, coming from a, you know, United States Marine Corps, we got to be resourceful. You know, something in our DNA is Semper Gumby. We got to learn to adapt and overcome every time. You know, and with business, that is 100% magnified and it's in your face because you want this thing to work. You want this business because it's your dream, it's your goals, and you want this thing to do good. But at the end of the day, you got to do what it takes and being resourceful is the one thing as an entrepreneur that will get you overcome the money, the money struggle, overcome the lows that, you know, being lonely or depressed. I mean, a lot of entrepreneurs, they don't talk about this, Mike, but you know, it happens, you know, so being resourceful helps. Well, that's good. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Carlos Cruz. He is the owner of Liquid Customs Inc. and Cyber Blueprints. I'd like to thank you for your service. Oh, <clears throat> I'm here with Carl Nabla. Let me ask you. So, what was the best place that you went to when you were serving? Oh wow! <laughs> Why did you guys always place. laugh when they think about <laughs> the best place? You're thinking of the fun stuff. I I was I was because I had the opportunity to go to Hawaii, but I didn't take it. You know, because I just got married, so that would have been the best place. But the other best place that I did have, I had the best fun over. I worked at the presidential helicopter, uh, heli- the presidential squadron. Let me get my words right. The presidential squadron over in Quantico, Virginia, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's the headquarters of the Marine Corps, and it's one of the best place, one of the best times I had there, serving there with all the fellow brothers and being so close to the mission and to the president. I mean, it was just awesome. You know, I've met people who were in the old guard and things. I'd never heard someone who had served that. That seems pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. It so was. we'd like to thank you for coming on the program. Uh, good luck to you, sir. And make sure you keep listening. You know, if there's any way that we can help out here on the mic with Mike, we'd love to. Absolutely. Thanks again, Mike and uh, Carl, for having me. And, uh, uh, and good luck to all the entrepreneurs out there. And remember, you don't need a lot of money to start your business. Said from a, yeah. uh, said from a true jarhead, <laughs> Semper Fi, man. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, Bye. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been SBA Wednesday. Carl Knobloch here with us. Uh, the program is on the mic with Mike. We are here every Wednesday. Shout out to all the vets out there. So, Carl, let people know the veteran services that and shout out the mm-hmm. veterans as well as the families yeah. let people know the services that that can actually uh it, it was great when they talked about the resources that <laughs> i always say every week sba.gov has all the resources and answers for you what you're trying to pursue and ladies and gentlemen today is a very big day so for folks who are looking at us on facebook our man carl knobloch <laughs> is is you know he has the patriotic tie on you can't see the socks but but he truly is is ready so carl thanks as always <laughs> today that's right thank you al we, you know we we got to showcase that that's model ready yeah. So we'd like to thank you for coming in. Uh, we will talk to you on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks now. Take care. Do you want a crystal clear picture of your finances? Dial 804-601-0532 and schedule your free financial review with Crystal Clear Financial Solutions. Find us online at crystalclearfinancialsolutions.com. Welcome to the SBA Weekly Business Tip. I'm Martin Short with the U.S. Small Business Administration, Virginia Richmond District Office. If you want to retain complete control of your business but don't have enough funds to start, consider a business loan. To increase your chance of securing a loan, have a business plan, expense sheet, and financial projections for the next five years. Once you're prepared, contact banks and credit unions. Compare rates and offers to get the best terms. To learn more, visit us at sba.gov VA. We're here to help you start, grow, expand, or recover. 
Mike King here, host of On the Mic with Mike. And I'm Paula, the host of Modern Love. You can find us together 1.30 on Fridays as we... We talk about all things love. We talk about how modern matchmaking works. We talk about getting into a healthy, real relationship. Stop swiping left and right and learn how to find love in all the right places. Paula Pardell, Modern Love Friday, exclusively on the Mic with Mike. And only heard here on WJFN 92.7 and 100.5 FM. Hi, my name is Daquan Woodbury, also known as Chef PQ. The restaurant industry is going through a hard time right now. With COVID-19, a lot of things are going on, restaurants are shutting down, they might have to even close their doors for good. In the past few months, we've seen how life can change dramatically in a blink of an eye. Fortunately, I've created a system, a proven system, that allows restaurants to stay successful in this new way of life. As the owner of RVA Cafe, I would love to help you through these challenging times. Go to redindigofood.com for more information. Thank you, attorneys Justin Lauder and Chris Gatewood at Threshold Council PC for sponsoring this program. They offer startup, business, and intellectual property services for innovative and growing organizations. You can find them online at threshold.cc. Are you experiencing difficulties with paying your mortgage or bringing your mortgage current? If so, we can help. Give Neighborhood Home and Assistance a call at 1-800-441-6872 or text 757-951-3048 for the immediate response. We have over 10 years of mortgage experience working with some of the largest mortgage corporations in America. For more information, visit NeighborhoodHomeAssistance.com to schedule your free over-the-phone consultation. Remember, time is one thing we can't get back, and your home is your investment. Act fast. Dessert Diva RVA. Specialty Boutique with specialty products. Providing custom experiences. Our Dessert Boutique is open on the weekends. Every dessert made from scratch. We also offer date nights and event decor. Dessert Diva RVA. The official home of Party in a Box. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Chris Ship here with Focus Floors, and we are offering a free upgrade in any Bono water-based poly for any job that gets put on our schedule. Uh, you can reach us at FocusHardwoodFlooring.com or just check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Facebook, uh, Focus Floors 804, Instagram 804. Thank you. I enjoy listening to On the Mic with Mike every day at 1 p.m. That's what I do! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic with Mike, the Times 141, uh, WJFN Radio 100.5, 92.7, a.m. As promised, we have Jay Carpenter in the house. Jay, welcome. Thanks for having me, Mike. All righty, so folks, you may know Jay Carpenter from around town at Fahrenheit, but he has launched his own business. He is the man behind Hanley Watches. Right. All righty. So give folks a little bit of background. He, plus, he brought some Hanley watches. We're here to talk about the watches, but also Jay and Hanley watches are going to be sponsoring, highlighting up, you know, up and coming businesses, excuse me, <coughs> up and coming businesses, people and organizations in the RVA area. So, you know, if you know Jay, hit him up. If you know someone who's doing something really cool and outstanding, uh, Jay's a person and we can get them on and talk about what they're doing. But first, ladies and gentlemen, this is a business show. We got to take her to business. Talk about the Hanley watches, sir. 
The floor is yours, sir. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, Hanley Watches. Uh, my wife and I started Hanley Watches just about a year ago. So it's a um, Richmond couple. We assemble and, and produce everything out of our uh, global headquarters. In there you Midlothian, go. It's like the gold, global epicenter yeah, business right, right global here. Global headquarters in, in Midlothian, Virginia. Um, longtime enthusiast. Um, of a lot of different varieties of watches. We, we say we're made for movers, transitioning from gym to nice dinners to the office to happy hours to uh, training for triathlon and, and just looking for something that was flexible, silicone band, but still maintain kind of that traditional classic look, whether it's a six-hand chronograph or, or some of the um, more traditional styles that aren't uh, electronic or, or trending that direction. So for people who are not watch people, uh -huh. give people some of the what the difference between time pieces and watches and a little background there. Yeah, so the, the beautiful thing about watches and, and time pieces is that the, the price points can go from a dollar to $10 million, right? right. And, and so there's traditionalists who, who uh, collect nice time pieces, and, and if anyone knows kind of the market, they, they've gone crazy in terms of return on investment, so you can go down that path. Um, some are a little more fast fashion and, and just aesthetically pleasing um, that have kind of risen recently over the last few years. Um, you know, obviously the, the high-end uh, pieces that celebrities and artists make famous uh, are in a league of their own. Um, you know, we want to be in that place where it's affordable, um, it's, it, it looks like one of those, you know, five figure type pieces, um, but we pair it with that nice rubber band so that it's comfortable on the wrist, whether it's clicking away on a keyboard or playing golf or swimming in the pool. And so we're in that, that place where, um, you know, it, it's an affordable piece. We're right around that $200 price point and, um, but it still maintains kind of those classic elements. That it does look for. classic. I mean, you know, it does look like the place that you can go multiple places and everyone is going to look at you. It's like it's just going to stand out. So you brought some pieces here so people could see. So for folks who are listening to us on radio, we're sorry. Uh, he said he will tell you what they're showing to our friends on, on Facebook. So the program is on the mic with Mike J. Carpenter here, Hanley Watches, uh, and we are going to be talking about the RVA uh, Rising Stars. But the star of the moment are the Hanley Watches. So what you got to show us? Yeah, so brought a few and of you our... Know what? we uh, got to start with the packaging, too, because that's the thing. Packaging is huge. You know, the, it's interesting on the packaging because a lot of folks throw it away. Not always, but... Right. So, you, you walk that line, you have to have something. It's your first impression usually as a brand, and I'm not a packaging expert, but I just, as a consumer, you know what you reflect. like. And so um, you have to make it classy and, and make good first impression with understanding the, the investment on the back end is that it might likely go in the trash. Yes. So, so there, there's a little bit of a balance there. Some people do like the box. I've talked with folks who, especially when you have them nice and, and logoed um, where the camera is. Right here's the you camera know, Some right people here. do like to collect them, especially if they are uh, you know, have a nice closet. You can stack them and um, put them together um, and, and have them etched in here in, in the leather like we do. So uh, the nicer they are, sometimes people do like to collect them. So you have going down the road of doing your own infomercial, correct? Didn't you took your, tell folks about your your uh, dive into, into I that. I try, <laughs> it's really hard, it's really. So it's a little really harder than you see you on TV. To not say um and like and not have a script and just kind of free flow is really challenging. It, when we, we talked about, was up late, baby, watching QVC, think, this is easy, I could do this. just talk. It's so hard. It's so hard. And, and to have the video look professional, we were dealing with the lighting coming through. Dogs were barking. The baby was crying. It was, it was a nightmare. Well, you are an active lifestyle brand. We're an active lifestyle so, brand. So, I mean, come on, man. That goes right along with it. Have to adapt and overcome. Um, and we tried. And, and it's just a <laughs> challenge. It, it's, it's, it's really tough to, to free float and talk smoothly and, and eloquently and um, – and not say uhs and ums and those filler words, it's a challenge. Now you can go back and edit it, right, and, and we can do some of that. Or you try and do it on live radio like this, and then when you hear back, you're like, man, Mike, what were you talking about? I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I sure sounded crazy right then, but 
had should have done some more scripting. Um, we're working everything. We're we're work in progress. We're only right. So we see the packaging. Packaging's nice and smooth. Yeah. And then we open it up and it's like bam. So we got the the nice sleeve. Um, yeah, this one's a, a good cover, so it doesn't get scraped up. Um, you open it up. This is our uh, our flagship product. It's called the Nestor. Uh, it's one I wear every day. I'm wearing it right now. I wear the navy blue. Um, it's a watch. It's a six hand chronograph. So again, you, you've got the the functionality oh. of a. Oh my! <laughs> it's okay. It's made for movers. It's okay. That's what it's meant to do. Now, if that was a ten thousand dollar piece, you would have been. You know, so, ladies sweat. and gentlemen, for people who are not watching, uh, you know who didn't see that, I hold. I held it up to the camera, and it went to the floor. That's okay. That's what okay, it's meant that, to do. Okay, that's live radio. Ooh, we're Rough never and on TV. Okay, that, that is. Silicone band bounce right up. See? That is good. All right, and this is called the Nestor. It's called the Nestor. I grew up on Nestor Drive, Winchester, Virginia. A lot of people don't know uh, that. Okay. Um, but that's the Nestor, so you had to pay homage to. Uh, you and know, Hanley, you got to give a shout out to Hanley, the name. Hanley is a public high school, privately endowed in Winchester. I grew up around the corner. My dad was a coach and teacher there for, for decades. Spent a lot of time there just um, as a you know, as a young kid, you know, just on parent-teacher conference days, you know, running around the gym. And as, as uh, we grew up, um, special place in the heart. He was a, a benefactor, obviously. Um, not a lot of people know Hanley's name um locally um and also kind of goes you know a little tongue-in-cheek with with the watch piece and um with the interesting thing if you google hanley high school and you see the, the view it, it's miraculous i mean it looks like a college it, it, but it's a public high school and you know the story goes people see it and think oh well there must be those those rich private school kids that you know in the city and and that's not exactly how things were at hanley high school I mean, we're good old-fashioned middle class class okay. folks and 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 um you know, to to the point about Hanley, it's it's we want them to look uh, pristine and look like something that you would find, you know, in in a four or five figure uh, price range. But there's just a little more grit to them. You know, you can can um, can wear them day in day out, not worry about banging them up and or you know, dropping them like or I, dropping them exactly. They're not. That's gonna, true. So that's what happens when you come to one of Mike with Mike. You know, you get, you know, you get to a certain age, kind of get a little loosey goosey with the. <laughs> You know, holding on to things. So you guys have a celebrity endorsement. We now, do. And you got, it just looks athletic. It looks nice and smooth and, and clean. So ladies and gentlemen, the Hanley Watch, the Nestor, and the other products that they have are the official timepiece of On the Mic with Mike. And they are sponsoring the Rising Stars segments that will be upcoming. So, uh, Jay, let's talk a little bit about the endorsement, who you guys have. Yeah, so uh, PGA professional, uh, top 100 player the last five years or so, Harold Varner III, um, out of Charlotte, uh, originally from Gastonia, North Carolina, um, now in Charlotte. And um, it's been a great partnership just based on, you know, kind of his upbringing and, and his disposition and, and work ethic and known for his humility and, and how he uh, approaches um, the world and, and his craft and and complete strangers all the like and so we met up with him and um, created a, a watch that's coming out next week no, no, must must put that in there um, his own um, custom watch and oh really okay pro proceeds are going back to his foundation which is helping to support youth in sports getting affordable access so you know and when you get a chance love for him to come on and talk about that that's what we do here uh, help folks who are uplifting the community so now you have another box is that the same no, different watches. So that's the Nestor in this black. This is the Nestor in I wear black. it in blue. Um, so do you change up with the band or are you? Some of them we do. The the Nestors, we don't. Okay. Um, again, I wear the blue. This is the watch I've worn from Jump. Uh, it's just kind of our, our flagship that I love. Some of them are, are much more interchangeable, and okay. some of them we change every week. So, folks, that's the Nestor. All righty. Um, this is another one of our original products from the spring. It's called the Lafayette. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got a, a notebook grid on the on the dial. I don't okay. Know if you can see that in the the camera. Um, it's got different kind of rubber silicone band, almost a tire thread to it. Mm -hmm. Again, really soft and and flexible on the inside, so that if you're swimming, running, typing, whatever it is, dropping, 
cooking, cleaning. See, I uh, see. He had to drop in the, the <laughs> dropping, <laughs> changing Just, diapers, anything. It's it, your hand. You're not gonna, you know, bang it up on a on a um, on a metal band. Okay. So, a uh, little date window there. It's it's a smooth white dial, 43 millimeters. And, and 40, 43 millimeters. That's a mid size. That's a mid size uh, piece, isn't it? That's a mid size piece. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're usually in that 41, 44. I have some, some smaller and some larger, but that's kind of the... No, it's not going to it's not gonna swallow the wrist, mm -hmm. but it'll stand out. So do, you only have men's watches? We have some that are now um, what we're calling gender neutral, mm -hmm. um, based on the bands. Uh, some of them are, more, are much more of a plain, clean white dial. And so if you throw on, my wife wears, we call it a periwinkle blue band. Just okay. Kinda, it's, it's not a Carolina blue. Um, but it, it's a little bit of a softer, almost purplish bluish, uh, a little bit more of a feminine vibe to it. And then we have a, a fuchsia band too, that is, um, uh, you know, again, depending on whatever your color scheme. But you know, I went to JMU, so I'll throw on the fuchsia band too, and, and rock that if I need okay. to for homecoming. The the whole brand that you have is is active, moving, upscale, elegant. Talk about what that means to you guys, how you guys came from a business standpoint to make Hanley watches look like that. Because you could have gone corporate, you could have gone a number of different ways, but it just says active. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think, <laughs> you know, when we were coming up w with our, as we built out the company and what we were trying to solve a problem, like most companies, uh, most businesses start that way. And, and our problem, our issue was throughout the day going to different settings and wanting something that transitioned. And so, you know, the big bulky that I, I possess but don't wear very often, whether it's a, a big, you know, computer-esque triathlon type watch where you're, you're measure, doing a lot of measuring um, to a day in, day out watch that you can, you know, bang around around the house or around the office. And then you want something a little more elegant or a little more upscale for maybe a dinner meeting or a happy hour or client entertainment or whatever the case may be. So. We're trying to trying to fit all of those needs with one product. All righty, Mike King here on the mic with Mike here with Jay Carpenter. Hanley watches to go away for a moment. We'll be back shortly. Thank you, attorneys Justin Lauder and Chris Gatewood at Threshold Council PC for sponsoring this program. They offer startup, business, and intellectual property services for innovative and growing organizations. You can find them online at threshold.cc. Do you want a crystal clear picture of your finances? Dial 804-601. 0532 and schedule your free financial review with Crystal Clear Financial Solutions. Find us online at crystalclearfinancialsolutions.com. Mike King here, host of On the Mic with Mike. And I'm Paula, the host of Modern Love. You can find us together at 1.30 on Fridays as we... We talk about all things love. We talk about how modern matchmaking works. We talk about getting into a healthy real relationship. Stop swiping left and right and learn how to find love in all the right places. Paula Pardell, Modern Love Friday, exclusively on The Mic with Mike and only heard here on WJFN 92.7 and 100.5 FM. On The Mic with Mike, the best business radio program in the game. <laughs> On the mic with Mike, we're back here with Jay Carpenter. Hanley Watches. Hanley Watches is the exclusive uh, sponsor of their watch piece for On the Mic with Mike, as well as our Rising Stars. So, uh, Jay, what's the idea behind the Rising Stars? What are we looking for there? Yeah, I think companies that are on the up and up, that are, are making um, making waves in a good way, whether okay. that's both with maybe it's uh, with the uh, community or maybe just in terms of, of pure 
um, you know, revenue driving business scene. So, all right. So, folks, if you know businesses that are out there, you know people are out there, organizations that are out there, and you think that they're a rising star, make sure you contact us, Jay Carpenter, Mike King here, and what we'll do is we'll feature them in uh, the rising the rising star segment on the program. So, Jay, you brought one last you brought one last piece here. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah, this one. And uh, that is. Marrington. Um, this one's a, a little more eclectic, probably than um, than some of our other pieces. We've got the little um, medallion here. Um, when my wife and I went on our honeymoon, um, visited the Panerai shop. Panerai is pretty famous for their crown guard, and so we wanted to to pay homage to that. So for your honeymoon, you're out there messing around with watches. Well, it was part of the trip. We, we, it was just part of. <laughs> Way to go, Mr. Romantic! I hear you. <laughs> Honey, we got we got yeah, we got we got to make a couple a stops. Exactly. Um, yeah. So this one we we saw and thought, well, yeah, we need to to do something, um, you know, for for the crown guard. And so it's it's translucent. It's it's an interesting look. Very metallic. Very bold. Um, okay, I won't drop this one. No, no, go, go ahead. Throw it on there. Oh, that man, that is nice. Um, so it, okay, that is. Man, that's it's got a little more ridge to it, a little more shape than you know. Some of our others are, are much um, more calm in terms of their. their and that one is called the Marrington. The Marrington. Okay, what's what's the Marrington? What what's the name? That's where we live now. That's the that's the uh, global headquarters, Marrington. <laughs> We're not that creative. I was ready to say. I was expecting something really creative. I'm like, oh wow, man, I am thoroughly impressed. No, it's kind of like the global epicenter of business. Uh, yeah, Lafayette. We <laughs> used to live on Lafayette in Kensington. My wife went to Lafayette High School down in Williamsburg, so there's kind of a, a double entendre there. But Marrington's pretty straightforward. Okay. That's how we do it, folks, here. We spared no expense. <laughs> <laughs> we spared no expense here. Jay Carpenter's here. How can folks find you uh, to talk about Hanley Watches? And we do have offers here. Make sure you contact uh, Jay because we have some, you know, some great offers that we're going to roll out. We're not going to give it all to them right away. Sure, sure. Uh, HanleyWatches.www.HanleyWatches.com. Pretty straightforward. H-A-N-D-L-E-Y, okay. watches. Um, at Hanley Watches is the social from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. A lot of the new releases, a lot of the discounts and deals we'll put up on there. All right. Um, and you had a new watch with Harold coming out. Yep. New Harold Varner the third products coming out next week. Um, proceeds going to his foundation, so very excited about that. Just in time for the holidays. It's a really clean white dial, black silicone band. It's got some really special things towards Harold that reference his uh, his charity. All right, I'd like to like thank uh, like to thank Jay for coming in, folks. I'll uh, support Hanley Watches. They are the watch supplier for On the Mic with Mike, uh, and also RVA Rising Stars. Next up, we have Nicole Reed with the Real Playbook. I will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Now take care. WJFN Goochlin, WJFN Chester, one hundred point five FM, ninety two seven FM, and AM eight twenty. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm John Scott. In Georgia, election officials have announced an audit of presidential election results that will trigger a full hand recount. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. With the margin being so close, it will require a full by hand recount in each county. This will help build confidence. It will be an audit, a recount, and a recanvas. All at once. Raffensperger wants the process to begin by the end of the week. President Trump adding Alaska to his election win column eight days after the election. The president winning that state at its three electoral votes. President Trump has paid tribute to the nation's veterans and fallen military heroes. White House correspondent Greg Cluxton with that report. <laughs> At Arlington National Cemetery, the president stood and saluted in a steady rain during a Veterans Day observance. He was joined by Vice President Pence at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier as they honored those who have defended America. It was Mr. Trump's first public appearance in days since Joe Biden was projected as the presidential winner. Greg Clugston. The White House. Also at townhall.com, Ada has weakened to a tropical storm as it moves toward Florida's coast. Hurricane Center Specialist Stacy Stewart 
says Ada will bring a lot of rain to the Tampa area. Water is going to be pushed up into the drains in the uh, metropolitan areas there uh, in the Tampa Bay area. And then you put on top of that uh, rainfall totals of you know, perhaps exceeding uh, four to near six inches of rain. And uh, that water will begin to back up and will definitely flood uh, streets and other low-lying areas. In the Tampa Bay area, authorities are opening shelters now for anyone needing them. On Wall Street, the Dow ahead 43 points. The Nasdaq is up 218. More on these stories at townhall.com. Let's say you've decided to build a bicycle from scratch. Sounds like an impossible project for my skills. But let's say you've got the skills and I offer you an advantage. A special tool that would help you build the bike faster while saving you legitimate money. My guess is you'd say, bring it on. If you wouldn't, well, then this commercial isn't going to make much sense. My name is Ryan. I'm from United Faith Mortgage, and we believe we have an advantageous tool for you. Our mortgage team is lucky to have a direct lender advantage. Our company is set up to use its own money and make its own lending decisions within its own walls. And often, this advantage allows us to get your refinance or new home loan done faster and get you a better rate, which saves you monthly and lifelong money. Rates are historically low. Now is the time to see how our special tool might work for you. We are United Faith Mortgage. United Faith Mortgage is a DDA of United Mortgage Corp. 25 Melville Park, Road, Melville, New York. Licensed mortgage banker. For all licensing information, go to animalistconsumeraccess.org. Corporate animalist number 1335. Rack animalist number 65233. Equal housing lender. I license in Alaska, Hawaii, Georgia, Massachusetts, North Dakota, South Dakota, or Utah. 49 states seeing a rise in COVID-19 infections. Hospitals in some states in danger of being overwhelmed. We are in trouble. Dr. Julie Watson's employer operates 18 hospitals in Oklahoma. Our local and state health care resources are approaching their limits. And if nothing is done soon to slow the rise in cases, our hospitals will be more overwhelmed than they already are, and we won't be able to be there for all of those who need it. She spoke with KOCO-TV. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds tells WOI-TV that her state's health care system is struggling. While beds still are available for patient care, staffing them is becoming increasingly challenging as some health care workers may be sick or in quarantine or caring for other family members. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds. Breaking news and analysis at townhall.com. A bankruptcy court agreement has breathed new life into iconic American retailer J.C. Penney. The legacy retail chain is on track to emerge from bankruptcy by Thanksgiving after a Texas court approved a purchase agreement involving J.C. Penney's two largest landlords, Simon Property Group and Brookfield Asset Management, along with its primary lenders. About a third of the stores will close in a restructuring phase, leaving 600 locations still standing. If the deal hadn't gone through this month, the company would have had to go out of business. But JCPenney still faces an uphill battle. Many people are staying home because of the pandemic, and they're shopping online at discount stores. I'm Jackie Quinn. Business travel may never look the same. Consulting firm McKinsey & Company says it took international business travel five years to recover after the 2008 recession, but video conferencing could have put a permanent dent now in those trips. More at townhall.com. Mr. Joyce, sometimes people don't maintain their heating and cooling system. You wouldn't go a year without changing the battery in your smoke detector, would you? You would never do that. Make sure your smoke detector has fresh batteries and call James River Air to make sure your heating and cooling systems are tuned up and ready for duty. Anytime's a good time for a tune-up. Plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical and appliances. James River Air can service all of these systems. We are your whole home service partner. Call or click jamesriverair.com. Feel the hot new reels and cool cash at Rosie's Gaming Emporium. Are you ready for added excitement, more ways to win, and bigger payouts? Then stop into your favorite Rosie's and check out our all-new machines where jackpot pools start at $100,000. Don't miss the next level of jackpots, new ways to win, and big-time payouts. Only at Rosie's Gaming Emporium. Stop by and win today or click rosiesgaming.com for more info. rosiesgaming.com Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. No doubt you've noticed that on the wall there are the prints of four men. Men that I consider, in my book, are uh, about the four top Americans of the past. They are Franklin, Washington, Lincoln, 
and, le and anybody who ever tries to put me in any other relationship with respect to General Lee is mistaken. General Eisenhower was not the only president who admired Lee. Grant, Truman, Roosevelt, and Johnson all held Lee in great esteem. Prime Minister Winston Churchill praised Lee as the noblest American who ever lived. There are some who disagree. Governor Northam, Attorney General Herring, and Mayor Stoney want to remove all public recognition of General Lee. They fail to recognize Lee's greatest achievement in reuniting our nation. Contact your state legislatures. Let them know you strongly object to removal. A country which permits a man like Lee to be demonized is a country in decay. Please call 804-366-4407 for more information. This ad is endorsed by the organization Remember and the Friends of Lee Statue. In a world where quality business information is needed, we bring you On the Mic with Mike. to the Real Playbook Radio Show. The time is 2.07, and it's Wednesday, also known as Hump Day. Uh, hump Day? Our yeah. midpoint to the end of the week. I'm your host, Nicole Ree, CEO of Nicole Ree Real Estate, Bill Credit Trust, and Associate Broker with EXP Realty. And we're here to talk to you about all things real estate. You're listening to 92.7 FM, 100... 5 FM and 8:20 AM with WJFN, and we are coming to you live and direct from the studios of Richmond, Virginia. It's always exciting to be on radio. Mm -hmm. So, if it's our first time tuning into the show, I just want to first off by saying thank you. So, the purpose of this show is to educate, inspire, and promote real estate. We will have industry experts that will provide their knowledge, skills, and recommendations on each and every show. Every guest of the show is related to real estate in one way or another, and we're not just sticking to the basics. We want you to be well-rounded in real estate. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, looking to become a real, t real estate agent or a realtor, um, an investor or stager, or even decorating tips and everything in between, we are here at the Real Playbook Radio Show to give you all the information you need. Also, you can feel free to call in with your questions anytime during the show at 804-778-8888. With your questions and our producer, Mr. Albert Green, is keeping things straight on here and will get your patch right on in. Well, let's get started with the show, guys. I, today I have a very special guest on the radio with me. Uh, he's an important player of my team with Nicole Reed Real Estate and assisting my clients and providing them with the full service experience, and making their buying process a smooth transaction. And he's also a friend and brother to the family, but just a great guy all the way around. All the way around. All the way around. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that head just blew all the way up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome my guest, Mr. Jonathan Hunter, lead sales rep with Liberty Mutual. Thank you. I appreciate it, Nicole. Appreciate it. Thank you. Look, I just... Blew you all Just a little bit. I mean, yeah. the best part was the fact he said family friend, you know. Family friend. I was at the cookout last time, so you know it's real. And we got buggy <laughs> with it. And I couldn't even get you live when you was stepping with my brother. Oh, man. No, you don't want to see those things. Those those knees are bad. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, y'all couldn't even give it. They was like, I can't. We did it once. We can't do it again. Mm, not doing it again. How old no. are you now? I am 29. I'm just, that's my whole point. You're 29 <laughs> and how them knees bad already, all that. Oh, I'm talking about football, hot practice, all those things. Like, I'm 29, but I got like an 86-year-old knees. That's like, that's what's going on. <laughs> Lord, the struggle is real. No, mm -hmm. but yeah, y'all, we had a good time at the Oh, home. it was amazing. Well, appreciate you coming out. Especially We're celebrating got, uh, my dad's those, 70th um, birthday balls. party. Who made those meatballs? I just need to know. <laughs> I just need to know. That's my secret. Um, I ain't giving you that. No, that's meatballs. my cousin, Melissa. Oh, no. Melissa, uh, she's a caterer, so she always caters all my events. Thanks, Melissa. All right, so anyway, why don't you introduce yourself? You do a lot of different things, mm -hmm. um, but you are with Liberty Mutual I right am. now. and um, Right now? I mean, for a long time. I'm trying to be here for a while. Okay, <laughs> well, he's going to be there for a while. So, trying. But you do all different types of mm -hmm. things when it comes to the insurance side. Uh, yeah. Um, and like I said, you're a value uh, partner with my real estate business. But go ahead and introduce yourself on the uh, audience. I appreciate it. Yes, um, my name is Jonathan Hunter. I am a lease sales rep with Liberty 
Liberty Mutual. I've been with Liberty for about three and a half years, almost going on four. Um, I sell auto, home, life, and annuities with pet insurance, um, drills, mutual insurance. Um, so I do it all around. If it's something that you own, I can insure it pretty much. Um, you know, been with them for a while. Love the company. Um, we work with a bunch of different other partners. Um, I guess to name a few, Progressive, Elephant. So, you know, local companies around the way in the Richmond area. Um, and it's a great time. Just great doing it. Been doing it for a while now. Awesome, awesome. So, Liberty Mutual, everybody knows Liberty Mutual. Yep. I mean, we Liberty see Bibbidi. <laughs> <laughs> we see them on TV. We hear them on the radio. Um, so, they actually underwrite their own policies, mm -hmm. but they also are, are like a brokerage, right? So, they can yeah. broker out to different companies out there to fit the client's needs. Yeah, so about, I would say about about two and a half years ago, Liberty saw an opportunity where um, it's kind of like own your own agency type of atmosphere. That's what we're trying to build here. Okay. And with that, you know, the goal is to help the client. Right. That's the ultimate goal. Right. Um, you know, and sometimes Liberty's a high-end product at mm -hmm. times. So sometimes, you know, the pricing just doesn't fit that client's right. needs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Liberty saw that. The people above us saw that and right. said, hey, Let's partner with this company. Let's partner with that company, and um, let's make sure at the end of the day that con that client works with you as the agent. That's right. the ultimate goal, right there. Right. Yeah, and I think that's important. Being able to see the missed opportunities mm -hmm. and make adjustment in any form of company, you know. And, that's true. And I saw Liberty now, if they can adjust my pay a little bit, that'd be even better. <laughs> Y'all heard that, Liberty? Hook a brother up. <laughs> <laughs> we need a salary increase. All right, well, we need to sell some more policies. Yeah, I need, uh, yeah I need a little <laughs> bit more. That's exactly what my boss would say. Exactly. Well, just sell some just more. Just sell some more. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, on top of that, I mean, you had a, a big accomplishment that you, that oh, you yeah. did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was it last month? Or? Um. So, what was it? Um. So, last month, I hit my financial goals. I am over 75K this year. So, financially wise, that was a really big deal. Um and then I everybody how much you make but go no ahead. not every don't, not, don't I just when you can start getting phone calls <laughs> but I mean that was a really that was a big no, goal but I for mean me. you were the top lead salesperson for the month too right yeah I was I mean that's been that's kind of been I mean that's like a that. heavyweight yeah, that, champion that's, that's, I've, I've been doing that. that for a little bit now oh, he's just, he just like it yeah wasn't just been, for a month it no it's like been it's been all year it's been all year if you look at the numbers Jonathan Hunter in the Richmond area. Is the top it's sales rep overall? Overall, um, but you know that that's come from a really like a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. um, shoot, I'm you're coming talking from a person where I sold maybe like three policies my first like six months on planet. Uh, <laughs> like, well, it's three. like and you realize you couldn't make a living that way. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, but you know that's the great thing about my company and a, a great thing about my manager. That's why I always like to uh, throw it back to is the fact that he still believed in me. Mm -hmm. He saw that there was opportunity. He saw the fact that I was willing to work hard. Right. You know that's the right. biggest thing. And um, from there, where I was like number 100 on our on our <laughs> list. So you, like I said, being top 10, I've been top 10 all year within our company. Okay. And um, what was it? Yep, last last month, um, I was the top sales agent. But July, it was I think it was like June, July, August. Were those were my big, those were my big hitter months where I was just top. I was rolling. Thank Getting you. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, well, anytime. Thanks You're to welcome. You. You're welcome. Um, I mean, yeah. I think it's vital in in the the area industry that we work in that you know we have key partners that can kind of help contribute to our success our success like I said earlier you know for me and the business that I have with Nicole Reed real estate one of my main goals and focus is to have uh, a overall one-stop shop mm -hmm. you know and um, where I provide all the resources to my clients to make that process more seamless for them and it's just a smoother process because a lot of times I get individuals that really don't know like what to do who to contact you know all of these great things and me having the relationship like I have with you and other uh, vendors that I work with it just makes that process smoother you know they get the response that they need they get you know the services that they need and you know people just love me because they already know I'm like the go-to person are. for you resources are. you are you it, definitely it, are it don't matter what you need I got you can guy. find it. You can find it. You got you got a guy for it. Um, I got a guy. Oh, a lady. I got somebody. You got somebody, for you. some person. Um, and it's not even real estate, you know, but networking, I think, is just really, really important, you know, in any business to be able to network 
um, especially if you're in a business of service, customer service, being able to provide those resources. Which was crazy because like I already knew your brother, but oh. I didn't know you. And then how we met is just Ain't that really. Crazy? It's, you, I was like, huh? You know who? And then he called me. Was like, so you know my sister, and you know how your brother <laughs> is. So you know my sister. Like what? Yeah, I guess. It's funny. So it's a small world because. Everywhere I go, you know, I got 10, it's 10 of us, right? So I got nine <laughs> brothers and sisters. So they know one of us. And it's funny. So a lot of people know my brothers because they're like in the entertainment business mm -hmm. or, you know, um, some form of business when it comes to electronics. So people utilize them for their services as well. So when they know me and they know my brother, but they don't ever put two and two together until That's the last we name, have a com conversation. That's the last name. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm married. So my name changes, <laughs> but... You know, and then when they're like, oh, now that makes sense. I can see that. I can see that, yeah. I mean, because we all just cool people. Y'all, If y'all don't know my family, y'all want to know my family. We're just good people to be around. So anyway, let's talk about some of the uh, plans, products, and services that you have. For mm -hmm. me, on the real estate side of things, as a homeowner, you know, it's important to shop around, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, you know, there's different different types shop of shop with me though like shop, shop with Jonathan and then he'll <laughs> shop you around to make sure that you get what you need yeah of course we, we get sometimes when we're purchasing a home we need to stay within a budget having mm -hmm. those conversations with Jonathan he'll make sure he gets you what you what you need in order to be able to stay where you need to be in order to qualify those are, those, qualify for those, are those difficult conversations right there like gotta have them but mm -hmm. there's adjustments that need to be made but mm -hmm. also I mean, just talk about some of the things that you can have on a home policy because people don't read their they policy. They don't. They don't even know what they're getting. What All they, they getting. know is that they got to have it. Yeah. So, I mean, the biggest thing a lot of people say is like, well, why is my home cost so, like, why is this insurance cost so much? Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it's a lot of different factors that go into it. It, it involves the neighborhood that you live in. Mm -hmm. It involves the year of the home that is built. So, a lot of times, speaking of homes built, like, so our parents, they built their homes back in the day, right. 1950. So it was very unique mm -hmm. to what they wanted. Like, mm -hmm. you can't find my grandparents' house anywhere, anywhere else. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but nowadays with Ryan Homes and these, a lot of times it's a structure that one house is here and then three blocks later, that's the same exact mm -hmm. house. And the materials are a lot easier to come upon now. Right. And so they're less uh, expensive for the insurance company to rebuild. So for okay. insurance, we're not insuring the land. So mm -hmm. when you're purchasing a home in Chester, it may cost $400,000 because the community is in, the school systems, mm -hmm. all those type of things. The other house that was sold right there. Right. Liberty or any insurance company, we strictly just want to know the materials. Like if it's brick, mm -hmm. if it's wood, um, vinyl, all those type of things are the things that factor into our rate. So, so it's a replacement cost is really what y'all That's all. That's all we care about. We care about, hey, right. how much is going to cost us to rebuild your home? Because okay. once it's rebuilt, that's that's it. Like right. Then you can go back to market value right. on how you sell it. Right, right. Um, for us, that's... I like how that's, you say that, how I sell yeah, it. How, yeah, right. how, yeah, how you sell it. <laughs> so that's that's how that works for us. We, we're not involved in that. Okay. And, um, and also goes into credit. You know, okay, because I was wondering, do y'all yeah. check credit? Because it's, it's soft, soft, soft hit. So it ain't affecting it your credit score. Oh, trust me, we. I think maybe back in the day that used to be the case, but okay. you know, with with insurance companies wanting to partner with realtors right. and mortgage that's lenders, very that's a very big thing for oh. us. And so it's a soft. It's you will never see it on your credit score. So what is like when y'all pull in credit? What are you looking for? Pretty much, I mean, it, it really just varies. As long as you're in between like that, if you're between seven and 800, mm -hmm. you have nothing to worry about. You're going to get the lowest rate possible. Okay. If you're between five and six, you're, you know, it might be a little iffy. Okay. Um, and then anything below five, it's, you know, it's, it's just not. No, we'll do the do policy, but, the but. So, okay. So your credit scores is, is predicated on what your premium is going to be as well. To a a small, it has a small, yeah, percentage small percentage. Like small okay. percentage. It but really it affects you better. If the better your credit, that's how I like to look at. It. If better. you have a great, then it's gonna give you the best rate possible. Okay. And if you don't, then you're just gonna get a maybe like a regular, regular rate. Um, okay. uh, I guess let me let me see. Put it this way. So it really works better on the car side of things. So I had a client just the other day where he. He told me like, well, I have like three speeding tickets and right. Yeah. Well, that's a whole yeah. other story. Like, well, no, but see, yeah. so what happened was because his credit score was so so good, uh -huh. we just 
they just they like in, the NVR. They we didn't even run the NVR report, and boom, that was his price. Ain't that crazy? It's, it's really so credit is important. So if mm-hmm. you have concerns about your credit, <laughs> don't forget that I am the CEO of Bill Credit mm-hmm. LLC. We help you build credit trust. So you can get cheaper insurance. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's my little tagline in there. So anyway, all right, so the underwriting process, you, the age of the home, or even if the home is older, rehab homes, mm-hmm. you know, so if you've got like, updated roofing and HVAC and stuff. So if you updated roofing, HVAC, um, if you gut the house pipes-wise, mm-hmm. electrical, mm-hmm. those are like the four facts. Like, like, so plumbing, electrical, HVAC, and roof. So if you – Got all that, like mm-hmm. homes in Richmond, how they right. fully gutted fully them. Done. So yeah, the home was built in like 1950. Right. But because Everything it's been, is new. so it's all new, so we rate it as a brand new home. Okay. And so you're looking at maybe like 400, 500 dollars. No, because I got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 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 yeah. what you're you're looking at for those type of homes. Yeah. Um, and then, and other factors are if you put in claims. So that's mm-hmm. the real big thing where clients where I have to have those conversations with clients is, well, I want my deductible to be $200 or $500. Right. And it's like, you don't want that only because for insurance companies, we mm-hmm. it is their incentive to make it where it's a higher deductible. Mm-hmm. So you don't just put in will of the mill claims. Cla- right. Like right. you're a homeowner. So my education process to that is that as a homeowner, you need to set aside money for and that's what i tell them what is your rainy day yeah you gotta have that you gotta Mm -hmm. have that and you talked about deductibles and i think that's good to mention because i get a lot of people who always want i just want a 500 hundred dollar deductible okay well what in your house you -hmm. know is going to cost five hundred dollars or what might be less than five hundred dollars right so then it goes back to the point of putting in claims so when a, some, a person goes and get an insurance quote. You guys can see claims from any other insurance uh, from company. Ten for homeowners, it is. Hmm, I think it's eight years for homeowners, okay. five years for car insurance. Okay, so basically, when you're looking to give a quote to, when you're doing the underwriting process of it, you're looking to see is this person skipping and hopping from Happen. and, and you putting in claims and then going to another one. And, Literally. Okay. It happened. It happened. What? Yeah. Again, another client put in about. I guess he had like seven claims in the last three years. Every insurance company said no, thank you. Right. Like literally said, we we can't we can't do it. So I think this is an important <laughs> conversation because at the end of the day, we all need some form of insurance. We have to have it. So we have to be mindful of how we place claims because it can affect our future. You know, mm-hmm. or it could affect our our children as well and the type of insurance that we need. So. Unnecessary claims. Come on, guys. If you can't come up with five hundred dollars to take care of a item in your home, it's a bigger deal. Far as are you ready to be a homeowner? In my opinion. That, well, that's my yeah. whole point. <laughs> that's where I'm getting to. Like, and I am an advocate for home ownership. Mm-hmm. I think if you're gonna pay somebody's mortgage, pay yours, not a landlord's mm-hmm. mortgage. But I also understand that not everybody is ready for home ownership. And there is a responsibility to home ownership as well. So you when talk you're talking about, <laughs> you know, I already had that conversation, right? But when you talk about home ownership, these are the type of things that you really need to think about in the plan. It's, the, it's so exciting when you want to go buy mm-hmm. a home and, you know, just having the idea of being a homeowner. Uh, but things happen. And, like, sometimes things happen right after closing. You know, mm-hmm. so you've done your home inspection, everything is good, things is working, boom, you close on that home, you get the keys, you move in a week later, HVAC is gone. Mm-hmm. Not only is the HVAC gone, but you don't have a home warranty, which I always highly recommend to get a home warranty to help with mm-hmm. those type of unexpected expenses. That's a big difference for between me. If, exactly. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that because people kind of get confused. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that when we come back from break. But um, I think it's important for people to understand that home ownership is a responsibility and you, you can't be nickel and diamond. Like you really have to have money saved up. Mm-hmm. For those unexpected expenses, because they will come. Have to, yep. Even in new homes, they will come. They'll come eventually. It may not be some of those bigger things that you're looking at, but they will come. So, I think that's important to know. And then, I mean, what do you? How do you feel about people who have insurance? Um, what I've been told is that 
we need to do a audit or a review on our insurance on an annual basis. Yes. It, or do you agree with that? Every yeah, every so homeowners insurance for every company, every respectable company is a full year. Mm -hmm. So you want to do that every year. Look at it. Be like, okay, what about this? What about that? Um, has um, if you have a percentage deductible, so. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have like a 1%, 2%, your deductible goes up every year because the it's, it's based off the value of your home. Uh -huh. So, you know, you need to check oh, into that. See, that like, okay, yeah. how's, does that work? Um, so you want to make sure of that. See if you can get your deductible to a, a set rate mm -hmm. of a $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 mm -hmm. deductible um, so you don't have to worry about it changing every year. Um, and That's then inflation. Mm -hmm. right, inflation happens. So ins insurance is on a steady basis will always go up at some point in time mm -hmm. throughout. If you're with a company, if you've been with a company for over five years and you've never checked it, you're, you're paying, paying too much. Paying I too promise much. you. I know. <laughs> it seems like all the best deals come to the new clients and for the loyal clients, you just pay. Well, what happens is because insurance companies change their systems. Mm -hmm. So every so often there's a new 5.0 something that comes out. So it it's incentivized to put clients in those newer systems so that their rates can stay at a certain level. Mm -hmm. um, it incentivizes me as a sales agent to, to call those clients to possibly save them money and right. then bring them something else to the right. table. So that brings to another point, and that's why I think it's always important to have local reps mm -hmm. um, where you do business at, somebody that you can contact directly because they take care of their clients versus calling a 1-800 number, getting you know an insurance quote, and you may not have that personal contact or relationship with that individual where they know new products are come. Let me go back and check with my clients and mm -hmm. let me make sure that I've got them the best rate because you want to keep your clients as well. Yeah. Like retention is very important. Huge. Yeah. And, and I mean, dollar wise and, you know, mm -hmm. relationship wise is very important. And so that's, I think, is a really good thing to have um, a local rep in the area. Yes, I agree with that. Cool, cool. All right. So, Jonathan. I don't think you told the listeners how they can contact you. So let's go ahead. Oh, so, that. I mean, I have my business cards right here. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's why I brought, I brought all of these for you, actually. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't have enough. But yeah, I'll take more. <laughs> let's see. Can um, you see that? Yeah, so I mean, I, my work cell is 434-532-7984. I have it on me at all times. Mm -hmm. um, and if I can't answer the phone call, I always text. Like, that's a, you know, a big thing of mine. Um, you can call my office number, but, you know, we no longer work in the office anymore. Thank goodness. Okay. So <laughs> just call the cell. Um, email, you got email too? Oh, yeah, uh, jonathan.hunter at libertymutual.com, and that's J O N A. T H A N okay. dot H U N T R at Liberty You said that like people don't know how to spell No, yeah, they don't because they always <laughs> put another H. They put J O H and it's not. It's J O N. Right, because John and John, right? Mm -hmm. I know. Well, my son's name is Jonathan, so I think I got you covered. Okay, cool, <laughs> cool. Mm. All right, guys, this is your girl, Nicole Reed with Nicole Reed Real Estate. You are listening to the Real Playbook Radio Show. The time is 2 29. PM. We're going to go take a quick break right now and we'll be right back after this. and a business owner with 15 employees. I know how hard this shutdown has been on our families and our society. I took an oath to do no harm and promote safe and healthy living. That could mean encouraging patients to take better care of themselves or taking common sense precautions to protect themselves from a virus. I'm confident that the time has come to start reopening our communities. Because we know who is at low risk, we can let these individuals get back to work. We also know which groups are at highest risk and can focus our resources on protecting them. By working together, we have flattened the curve. Now it's time for Main Street to reopen. By working together, we were able to flatten the curve, but now it's time to flatten the fear. By taking common sense precautions like social distancing, the vast majority of people under the age of 65 are at very low risk. Together, we can open America. Find out more at flattenthefear.com. Brought to you by the Job Creators Network Foundation. Happy Tuesday. 
I'm Kiara Johnson with your WJFN 100.5 FM weather report brought to you by Dominion Energy. Some unseasonable warmth for your November day. Richmond, partly cloudy, areas of patchy fog early, and then high 78 for your today. Tonight, partly cloudy, and then becoming cloudy after midnight. Slight chance of a rain shower, low 63. Charlottesville, sunshine and clouds mixed, high 74. Tonight, cloudy with occasional showers overnight, low 62, 60% chance of those rain showers. Fredericksburg, sunshine and clouds mixed, 76 degrees is the high for your tonight. Partly cloudy early in the evening, followed by cloudy skies overnight, slight chance of a rain shower, low 61. That has been your weather report. Please visit DominionEnergy.com. The best remedy for the body, soul, and that of your family is to get back to nature's best. And the best way to do that is spending a day buying the freshest meats and eggs at Harmony Hill Farm in Fluvanna. On the all-natural Harmony Hill Farm, you'll find only the freshest natural products for your table at home. Take your family for a walk on the farm. Take in the fresh air and ask anything you want to know. Harmony Hill Farm loves visitors, and visiting the farm to buy your food allows you to see for yourself how things are done. Harmony Hill Farm produces food products that are raised naturally, raising animals, as naturally as possible while big lots or pharmaceutical inputs. Just healthy animals in the natural pasture for the best quality meats. Visit Harmony Hill Farm in Fluvanna. Their satellite store in Glen Allen open Saturdays 10 to 2. Call 434-286-7094 or visit the online store at HarmonyHillFarm.net. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Do you want a crystal clear picture of your finances? Dial 804-601-0532 and schedule your free financial review with Crystal Clear Financial Solutions. Find us online at crystalclearfinancialsolutions.com. Thank you, attorneys Justin Lauder and Chris Gatewood at Threshold Council PC for sponsoring this program. They offer startup, business, and intellectual property services for innovative and growing organizations. You can find them online at threshold.cc. Are you tired of dating online? Bloom Matchmaking offers a safe and effective alternative. Every match is vetted and background checked. Bloom Matchmaking offers a personalized experience just for you. Check us out at bloommatchmaking.com or give us a call at 804-205-5063. Let Bloom take the stress out of dating. Mention On the Mic with Mike and receive 20% off. That number again is 804-205-5063. Bloom Matchmaking, where love grows. Dessert Diva RVA Specialty Boutique with specialty products Providing custom experiences Our Dessert Boutique is open on the weekends Every dessert made from scratch We also offer date nights and event decor Dessert Diva RVA The official home of Party in a Box Radio show where we're talking about all things real estate. In studios, I have one of my very important key players. 
yes. <laughs> to my real estate business, Mr. Jonathan Hunter, lead sales rep with Liberty Mutual. We're talking about all things insurance today. So he's been giving us a little bit of pointers when it comes to the home owner's insurance, what insurance companies are looking at um, mm -hmm. to make sure that you, our listeners, are getting the best quotes, best deals, um, and you're also understanding your insurance policy and mm -hmm. what your coverage is, which that's something most people really? don't know. They don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like what's standard on a policy? So uh, you have coverage A, B, C, and D. So coverage A is your dwelling. Okay. Uh, that's the home. Um, then you have coverage B is other structures. So if you have like a shed or okay. um, a detached garage, mm -hmm. then you have your personal property. So okay. that's cut the roof. I like saying this. Cut the roof of your home, of your home flip it over everything that's within your home okay. that falls out, that is considered your personal property. Okay. Then you have liability, medical pay, and then um, your deductible, how much you have to come out of your personal pocket to pay for whatever's Anyways. happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so see, that's the basic, that's mm -hmm. standard, that's what comes, but there are all other types of insurance that you should really consider having, right? Water backup. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of insurance companies, they have what's called um, additional coverage. So it's like 25, 20% on top of your dwelling. Mm -hmm. So this really helps for mortgage companies or for like mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm. um, so let's say the client is buying a house that is 200000 mm -hmm. And the home is valued for through the insurance company at maybe a let's say one sixty. Okay. You put an additional twenty percent right. on top of that one sixty, that gets you to that two hundred dollar right. two hundred mark, so which you don't have to Yeah, so then that um provides um reassurance to your mortgage mm -hmm. company saying, Hey, look, because mortgage companies, they're really big on, they want to make sure that if something happens to the home, that they get their cut. Covers that, the cost they of cover, that mortgage. Of that mortgage, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Understandable. Right. For insurance companies, we're like, it's always like a give and take. It's like, right. that house is not worth that much to us to right. rebuild. Because again, like I just said, right. the materials for mm -hmm. it doesn't cost that much. It costs that much because of the neighborhood. Right. That's the land of the home. Right. Um, right. But that additional percentage kind of just... It alleviates it them and, and, mm -hmm. and it, it pacifies the mortgage yeah. companies, basically. It pacifies them because ultimately, still at the end of the day, we're only going to build it back to that. Right. That that additional 20% is, let's say, inf like inflation, inflation or, like or let's say, I don't know, we buy wood from China. Right. And then like there's an expense on that. Mm -hmm. We have that, we have that available. You right. have that additional 20%. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So... That that's good. So you say a water backup, but what about like what other coverages do you do? Like you do sewer, uh, uh, septic, like you some insurance companies okay. do. Some of my carriers do do uh, sewer and backup. Okay. So what what that means is, let's say you live in the city of Richmond and they're doing work on the pipes underneath your under mm -hmm. the ground, and it bursts into your on your land mm -hmm. that, that that you technically own. Right. The city's not liable for that you right. have to get that fixed so right. certain insurance companies saw that again see that need and they're like boom like we can cover you for that mm -hmm. at a you know additional cost so but what about homeowners that have their own septic tanks that are not attached to the the city or county mm -hmm. is that coverage um no so okay. again it still goes back to the depends on what insurance company you're okay. working with um but that is an additional yeah, but it's something that you can get you additional. Can. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you that's, can't what get I, that. Mm -hmm. that's that's what I'm asking because, like you said, you know, you got your standard, but then there are homeowners that buy particular homes that either you know they have their own well and septic, mm -hmm. um, and so they're not using public well and um, septic systems, and so is there coverage to cover them because that replacement is thousands of dollars. Oh, so, yep. um, I mean. I just had a neighbor who had to have theirs replaced, and they paid $10,000, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. it may be less than that. It does depends on the size, mm -hmm. and it depends on where they where they have to put it, and it depends on what type of, you know, equipment that they got. But being able to have that type of insurance. So that's why okay. mm -hmm. I think, you know, like I said, people don't really pay attention to the type of insurance that they have, and they don't really know what their coverage is, but they assume that they're covered for something that they really are not. So it's they're very not, important uh -huh. to have those conversations with your agent, Jonathan, mm -hmm. And he can tell you what you're covered. And if you have specific things that you want to have coverage, those are the things that they need to mention yes. and bring up to you. Or, and as an agent, that's something that I do need to bring up as well. And right. I, that, like, so it goes both ways. Right. So that, that is something where, because like you said, as a client, they're, they're, they they're, 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 they want to buy the home. Right. Um, and the one thing I love to tell every client is, hey, look. I don't understand the mortgage side. I don't understand the realtor side. But when you talk to me, once you leave that conversation mm -hmm. with me, you can go to Nicole. You can go to your mortgage lender and be like, 
I don't know anything you guys are talking about, but I know what what John's talking talking about. I know exactly. Well, they always know what I'm talking about. And I know um, all of that because I'm making my business to know all of that. Exactly. But, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that's important. And I think educating the clients is important, not just providing them, them with the product, but providing them with education and a service as well. All right, so we talked about, before we went on a break, we talked about homeowners versus home warranty. And I know mm-hmm. a lot of people get confused as to the difference in those. And for me, as a realtor, I always talk to my clients about getting a home warranty when they purchase a home because it covers certain items um, that they don't have to worry about running through their home insurance um, for, which will save them money down mm-hmm. the line. Uh, but they still kind of get confused and intertwine the two. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get it all the time. Are you talking about the homeowner's home warranty? Or they mm-hmm. just think that it's the same thing. So can you break that down as, yes. as the difference? So your refrigerator your AC unit, um, your microwave, your stove, your washer, dryer, those are things that I do not cover. Um, those are separate. Like, those are, like you said, warranty, warranty type of. Type yeah. things. Mm-hmm. Your home, your flooring. Mm-hmm. Let's say, like you said, water backup. Let's say, mm-hmm. I always tell anybody who has, like, a two-story home, let's say one of the pipes bursts underneath um, your floor in a two-story, which is your ceiling. Right. Like, that's where I come in. That's, that's, okay. that's where I'm at. But right. if your washer dryer breaks, home warranty. home warranty. And they cover all of that. Mm-hmm. That's that's their side of things. Your AC unit blows out, home warranty. There's even home warranties that will cover septic pumping. So, hey. Mm-hmm. Um, so, there's a lot of good home warranty companies out there, but there are some that are not so great. Uh, and so, my recommendation is always talk to me about which mm-hmm. ones. I mm-hmm. have experience with several of them good or bad and I can kind of help guide that way and make sure that when you're buying a product like a home warranty you're actually getting the service and the coverage that you need in the event something happens because some companies just don't want to pay a claim like they want Mm -hmm. your money but they don't want to pay a claim when you have a legitimate claim so well that's good so I know you do more than just home Mm -hmm. right you do you talked about pet insurance which I think is Pretty cool and interesting. Yeah. And, and me, you know, um, on the rental side of things, when you're having tenants that have pets, I think it's a vital uh, product to have mm-hmm. them. But can you tell us about how, what is pet insurance? Like, so, how does it, what does it cover? Um, it it's still a very new product uh, for myself anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, it really, it protects you if your pet has to go to the doctor, preventative care, um let's say he gets sick or she gets sick Mm -hmm. like and it's really it's strictly based off of the the type of animal you have Mm -hmm. so and we're only right now um i only sell cat and dog (laughs) those are the the only two things if you have a snake it's called cat and dog dog. insurance exactly if you got a if you got a snake or something like that i can't help you i can't help you but i mean that's good to put that out there because pet there's more pets than just a dog Mm -hmm. and a cat that's true Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, it's just based off the age of the animal, mm-hmm. what kind of animal it is, and things like that. And it's, really, it's, it's like health insurance for pets. Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. It's fairly simple. You're always looking at normally probably like if you get the, the most, the biggest package, probably like $40. Um, if you try to get like just, you know, a regular $20. Mm-hmm. So Okay. So, and here I correlated that with tenants and... Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't have no pets, so I, I didn't know yeah. how that worked. But thanks for sharing with that. Um, all right, so that's that's important to have insurance for that. You do car insurance, mm-hmm. so that's a big thing. As far as bundling it, everything yeah. under one one umbrella. Uh, one umbrella. Mm-hmm. That's where you get your discounts. At. Yeah. So I mean, you you get discounts for if you're military. The further out you try to purchase your insurance, mm-hmm. the better the rate's going to be. And then ultimately, insurance companies, the more lines you have with them, the more discounts they're going to give you. Right. So if you have an auto with them and just an auto, you are always going to pay more than a person who has an auto and home. And, a home. Okay. and if you have auto and home, you're always going to pay a little bit more than a person who has auto, home, and life insurance or auto, and home, and umbrella insurance. So relationships. It's, it's relationships and insurance companies look at it as, hey, the more you have with us, the more likely you are to stay, stay with, with us with for us. the long and term. We want to make sure that mm-hmm. it's cost effective. For cost you effective, as well. yeah. Okay, well that's cool. That's good information. So there's different types of coverages, of course, that you can have with a car, mm-hmm. right? And a home. And a home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because let's talk about that. Liability. That's the really big thing. Um, so most every insurance company is going to give you the same amount of dwelling. Mm-hmm. Maybe it may vary by maybe like 
two thousand dollars, which honestly you might think is huge, it's not really big. Like if you're if one insurance company says we're valuing your house at one hundred sixty thousand, but another says one hundred and sixty five, mm -hmm. that's not a big difference right. there. The big difference is what is your liability? What happens if the court system finds that Nicole Reed, you're at fault for that dog biting that kid? Right. Um, so no <laughs> that's why you but, uh, don't have any pets. That's it. So with that being said. Um, a lot of insurance companies, a lot of insurance agents, when they give you that quote, I guarantee it never fails. And this is how I always I like to get my clients. Mm -hmm. Look at your liability. I promise you it's at 300000 And that ain't nothing. Yeah. I mean, nowadays in this lifetime, like $300,000 goes quick. Um, everybody want to see you for everything. So. Everything. I always, I like to, I'm giving a little nugget. I like to put everybody at half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And again, you say, well, that's a lot of money. That's a it's minimal. Probably, it's probably like. A difference for a year, maybe $10. Mm -hmm. From 300 to a half a million dollars, mm -hmm. $3. From a half a million to a million dollars, $10. Right. At best. So I always like to tell individuals, you don't want to call me and say, Jonathan, this happened. And they're asking for this amount mm -hmm. and being like, well, I'm... They're asking for four hundred thousand dollars. And all you got is three hundred thousand. So you a hundred thousand in a hole, and it no. got to come from somewhere. You got to come from somewhere, and it can't come from us because contractually, we right. we did it. We're, we gonna give you what that we amount. We're gonna give you. We're gonna give you that amount, but then after that, it's really on. That's really on you. So Same. that's important. That's very important. Huge. Huge. So I always general put liability. Half a million dollars. Yeah, that's good. Because mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I'm always like a million is my comfort zone. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for me, because mm -hmm. I'm a business owner, so I have multiple have more, businesses. I have a lot mm -hmm. more at stake, and exactly. I want to make sure that my assets are protected mm -hmm. as well. So, like, a million is is minimal for me, but it's important, I think, to even have that conversation because people don't think that, you know, the liability. Mm -hmm. As a homeowner, somebody can come and be doing work at your house and hurt themselves, and they can come and try to... The mailman. Mailman drops off the mail on your step, slips, boom. And you're liable. Mm -hmm. And med we already know what medical bills look like. <laughs> Jeez, some, Lord. Some terrible. Mercy. It's um, crazy. So, yeah, I mean, I just, my, my son, he somebody hit him, we into him, took him to the hospital. And, I mean, emergency visit, the doctor seen him maybe 30 minutes. Not even 30 minutes. She came in there for, like, five minutes. And we got a $3,000 emergency mm -hmm. bill. Mm -hmm. Crazy, right? But so just having that liability, that's very important. Um, rentals insurance. So for those who are not quite ready to purchase a home and get homeowners insurance, you insurance. offer rentals insurance. Yeah. So how many people don't have rentals insurance? Everybody. It I, is so, so many people. cheap and it could like literally protect you if all your valuables. All assets, your valuables. Right? Yeah. So with renters insurance is a little different. So you have like H threes, H fours, H sixes, which are condos and things like that. So mm -hmm. With the H-4, that is your renter's insurance. So that covers all your personal property. It doesn't cover the building or the structure right. of the home. It just covers your personal property. Because the owner's property. covering all of that. That's on them. That's like, on that's, them. That's, that's, that's general liability, right. especially for those huge uh, like mm -hmm. uh, rental fights. Mm -hmm. So for that, that is, hey, someone broke into my house, stole my PlayStation, stole, vandalized my belongings, you know, mm -hmm. had an ex-girlfriend that, you know, just came in your house and destroyed some things. Oh. You know, uh, we're not so like personal experiences, are we? No. Oh no, 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 not I, not I. I'm a good person. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna happen to me like that. I'm a good person. Um, but yeah, so you know that those are you need to cover those personal properties, mm -hmm. and because it is so inexpensive, a lot of times whoever you have your auto insurance with, you need to get a renter's insurance mm -hmm. file because it's just gonna save you more money. Even if you're like, well, I live at home with my family. At a certain time, well, if it's like like, it's like your son, if your son stays with you, he's always covered because his stuff kind of right. belongs to you. Right. But let's say it's your brother or let's say you have just, you know, let's say I lived with you or something okay. like that. My stuff is not covered under your, so if your house catches on fire, my belongings are my belongings. And yeah. the insurance company who insures you are going to make sure they make that distinct, distinct, like they're going to be like, uh, so hold on, who lives with you? This? Yeah, yeah. So Mr. Hunter? How old is he? Uh -huh. And he's not a dependent or anything like that. Right. Oh. Where's his stuff at? Oh yeah, he's got to handle that himself. Okay, that's and that's good to know. So a lot of times, family members who you know, which is a great thing if you have a family member that lives together and y'all all live together, mm -hmm. that's fine. But you, everybody needs to have their own individual 
renter's insurance. Wow. People who live in college. You like I lived in a four four bedroom apartment. Every person needs to have their own renter's policy. Like what you really got in in college that you need to get covered, I, except for that twenty five hundred dollar Mac computer. That that, that right. but the liability yeah. aspect. Then. Oh yeah. Well, let's say you know folks have a little good time having a party. As y'all do. As some people do. Again, <laughs> I say I'm a good person. As some people do. You can be and, good at a party. And no. But, okay. Prime example. So, and this happened to me, and you would have thought I've worked in insurance. You'd think I would have remembered that. Mm-hmm. So, the apartment complex that I lived in, I moved out and, you know, left. And one of my other tenants or one of my other roommates didn't pay the remainder of the bill. Mm-hmm. So, then, and it was because of damages. It's not because they didn't pay the rent, right, it was because right. of damages. Mm-hmm. Your, your renter's insurance policy is considered under that liability. And so, they cover you for that. Oh, dang. So, like, but I didn't have it at the time. I had just got rid of it. I was like, oh, I'm good. And boom, I got an $800 bill in the mail. And well, that's be- valuable information. So, that, that's a real big thing. And now, not every insurance company, but mm-hmm. just some of the ones that I, I have. They, so, Jonathan are, is the man to call. I'm just saying. Like, to get you know, the plan for To insurance. get that. And, and, and it's a really, it's going to save you. A lot of times, let's say a renter's policy is going to cost you maybe like $60 for the year. Damn. And that's going to drop your... For the year, more than likely, it's going to drop your auto policy down by thirty dollars. So you're pretty much just coming up with thirty dollars. Yeah, 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 for a renter's policy. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, so break that down to a twelve month premium, and it's like you're paying pennies on a dollar to exactly. be able to cover mm-hmm. ten, fifteen, twenty five thousand dollars worth of of course of yep. stuff. So it's very important, and I'm glad that we talked about that because I think that's a missed opportunity for a lot of individuals out there. How many times do we see things that happen? fires, you know, water damage, stuff, you know, especially as a tenant, some of the landlords out there are not doing what they're supposed Supposed to be doing to be upkeeping their homes, and something happens, the landlord is covered because they got homeowner's insurance, but your stuff is covered, and now you're at a loss, you know, and I mean, there's other recourses you could potentially go after, but why not have the assurity that your stuff is covered? Let the insurance company deal with that. Exactly. Like, let them figure out, okay, so the landlord's at fault because... You live below somebody and their pipes burst right. and it floods your whole mm-hmm. entire mm-hmm. your entire apartment. Uh, allow us to pay for that. Mm-hmm. Give you your money back. And then they'll deal with we'll the go, landlord. Yeah, we'll go to litigation. Because you know, that. yeah, because insurance company want their money back if they can oh, yeah. get their money back. Yes, Let me tell sure. you that for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I know I had a claim and they like. Yeah, have this person, if we know that this person is in fault, they'll mm-hmm. send you a nice little letter nice and little provide letter. us with the information. We'll go after that person and we'll make sure that we get our money back. Oh, yeah. They'll yeah. They'll, they'll find, because they have lawyers for that. Yeah. <laughs> they have. And they got the money to pay for it. So why worry about why, that? Why, why not, not just pay $60 a year, cover yourself, and leave the headache to the insurance companies to deal with? It just makes mm-hmm. sense. Big, uh, I would say another big thing is uh, umbrella insurance. So mm-hmm. that's something where it's an automatic a million dollars on top of your auto and your home. And right. some uh, some are just general liability, so it's just an extension of liability. Mm-hmm. But some literally go into breaking down like court fees mm-hmm. and lawyer fees. Mm-hmm. Whereas if again you're like you're a business owner, mm-hmm. if something like that were to happen, boom, you have you can call your insurance company and say, hey, this is going on. Call. Call them and be like, "Hey, I can't afford to go to court right now. I got, I got a, I got a house to sell or I got a, a open house to do." And they'll have litigation. They'll have lawyers out there. Let them handle it. Oh, I've seen it in my office a bunch of times where you, I walk in, I'm like, "Okay, I haven't seen you before. What you doing here?" Oh, and they have litigation. And they taking, taking they're care taking of care of it. Like they're taking statements and all right. that type of stuff. Oh wow! So that's that's good. That's some good information. I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of people, and you know, I think you know maybe some of our listeners are just not savvy. They really don't know. You know, people are experts in the area that they're experts Mm -hmm. in, and in the areas that they're not, they really don't have all the information that they need. And sometimes, you know, if you have a financial advisor, you know, they talk to you about these different things and these different Mm -hmm. coverages, but some people are not in the position to even have to talk to a financial advisor, but does not mean that you don't still have valuable assets that need to be covered. 
you know, some of the things that people pay, they spend time working and building that money to be able to have the nice things that they have. God forbid that something happens, you don't have the proper coverage, and now you're starting all over from scratch. Nobody wants to be in that situation. Mm -hmm. And there's so many different uh, opportunities and policies and different things out there that you can do to protect you, protect your family, protect your assets, protect the things that you have inside your home, and also protect, you know, every everything you know when you're talking about general liability and somebody having a, an accident on your property and you as a homeowner are liable for that so having the proper insurance is, i think is very important i appreciate sharing all that information that you have given us is there any other good nuggets um, before we end the show yeah um, life insurance that life is insurance. a huge okay. thing um yeah. that's something that is really near and dear to, to my heart right. um because i always look at it as just because you lose a family member doesn't mean your whole life has, your whole financial life has to change. Correct. And, you know, let's say you and your husband or you and a, a spouse get together and y'all get married and y'all buy a beautiful home and y'all are counting on both incomes to come in mm -hmm. and someone leaves this earth. Right. You know, what are you going to do? You're right. going to liquidate your home. You're right. going to move up or have that life insurance in place. Have okay. something mm -hmm. to where at least it pays that off. Right. <laughs> at least right. that's taken care of. Yeah. And, you know, that's... That's something where, as a family member, you're like, okay, I can keep I my can, house. You can, can keep your here. house because you don't have to worry about that. So there's companies, there are insurance companies out there that say, hey, we'll give you a policy to cover your mortgage. But at the end of the day, it's simply life insurance. Get a, get a mm -hmm. life policy. There's a difference, it. though. So there's mm -hmm. ones that cover the mortgage company. Mm -hmm. That's where the mortgage company <laughs> like, okay. Well, the mortgage company yeah. always going to be covered. Always too. good. No, you need a, you need you need a life own. policy mm -hmm. where you can hold it. You can look over it. It has your name on it, and it's your like you're paying for it. And you can do what you need what to do, you need with, to do that with that money. Whole life uh, term policies. And a lot of times for home, like if you own a home, you just need a 30-year term of some sort mm -hmm. to cover to you. To cover until, for the life of that mm -hmm. mortgage. And so um, I've always been told that you should at least at minimum have three times the amount of uh, salary or some people say or debt that you have. Um, mm -hmm. But what what would you say would be a good uh, place to start as far as having coverage? It, it, it's, 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 it's client by client, client. honestly. Um, so for me, if, I, if I'm dealing with one of your clients, I'm like, okay, let's get something to cover your home first mm -hmm. off. Let's just let's put that in place. Mm -hmm. However, amount your home is, you're paying for your home on the mortgage on the uh, loan side. Mm -hmm. That's how much we need. Okay. Boom, get that out the way. Mm -hmm. Then on the back end, after everything closes and you don't have to worry about that, let's really do an evaluation. What are your debts? What are what are your kids' needs? What are your other spouse's needs and mm -hmm. things like that? And we, you can have as many policies as you want right, right. on the life side. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those people who are in higher ups, those individuals who are mm -hmm. making money, who are rich, they have those policies mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. Get a small kids policy for your mm -hmm. for your child yeah. to where when they graduate and it's a whole life, that's money that's in the money bank for can, them. You can pay college tuition with Boom. that. Boom. Oh. Yeah, I have a coworker who that's exactly what he's doing. Well, <laughs> like, I think it's so much that we can talk about, you know, when it comes to the insurance. So mm -hmm. we'll definitely have to get you back on the show. Uh -huh. And then we'll Always talk good. a little bit more about, you know, the life insurance, um, you know, how we can make sure that we can pay for our kids to go to college and not have to get all these student, student loans. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I mean, I have tons of, of clients, prospective clients who can't purchase a home because they got student debt. You know, mm -hmm. student loans, and now that's part of the consideration of if you can get qualified or approved. So we definitely need to have a conversation about that. We want to make sure that if you want to be a homeowner, that student loans is not stopping you guys. So it's 2.59, and we are about to end this show. Wow. Jonathan, one last time, and I need you to do this in like five seconds. Tell okay. people how they can get with you. Just get in contact with me with my cell phone or via email. Phone number is 434-532-7984. Awesome, guys. You are listening to The Real Playbook Radio Show. We're on air every Wednesdays at 2 o'clock. I want to give a special shout-out to my brother, Matthew Hanna, with MX Productions, for producing my music, and also Mike Keen with On the Mic with Mike on the air every day, Monday through Friday at 1 o'clock to into his show as well. This is your girl, Nicole Reed, signing off. Peace and love. WJFN Chester. Breaking news this hour.